Did you know Taiwan dominates the global semiconductor industry, including critical components from smartphones and medical devices, to even automobiles and fighter jets? Yet, Taiwan Semiconductor, or TSMC, has long gone unnoticed because its semiconductors are designed and sold in products by branded vendors such as Apple, AMD, and Qualcomm. Despite this, the company controls more than half of the global market for made-to-order chips, and it's becoming more dominant with each new chip. While it accounts for 45-65% to of revenues in the 28-65 to nanometer category, the nodes used to produce most car chips controls nearly 90% of the market for the most advanced nodes currently in production. Yes, the industry is incredibly reliant on TSMC, especially as you get closer to the bleeding edge, and it is quite risky having one country with that much control over the world. So let's discuss how TSMC controls the world through the production of microchips. What are chips and their uses? Chips, also known as semiconductors, play an important role in our daily lives. They are essential components of electric devices such as smartphones, computers, and automobiles, and the foundation for technology such as artificial intelligence and quantum computing. Although a chip shortage impacts the devices we use daily, this has financial ramifications for several industries. COVID-19 alone drove millions of people indoors in 2020, causing a surge in demand for consumer electronics. People worldwide purchased laptops to set up in home offices, virtual schools, and televisions and gaming systems to keep them entertained. But unfortunately, chip manufacturers were unable to keep up, and as a result, there is now scarcity that affects everything from cars to smartphones. So who is Taiwan Semiconductor, and how do they control the world chip market? TSMC, based in Taiwan, is a key player in the global chip manufacturing ecosystem. TSMC manufactures chips on contract, and its advanced technology has made it the preferred manufacturer for companies such as Tesla, Apple, and Qualcomm. The $550 billion firm now controls more than half of the global market for made-to-order chips, and does even more of a hold on the most advanced processors. So TSMC is critical. They control the most complex part of the semiconductor ecosystem and have a near monopoly on the bleeding edge. Why are chips that important? This is a known fact. Over the last half century, the importance of semiconductor chips has grown exponentially. In 1969, the Apollo Lunar Module carried tens of thousands of transistors weighing 70 pounds to the moon. Today, an Apple MacBook contains 16 billion transistors in a package weighing only 3 pounds. Chip adoption will continue to rise with the proliferation of mobile devices, the Internet of Things, 5G and 6G networks, and increased demand for computing power. Global chip sales were $440 billion in 2022 and are expected to grow at more than 5% a year. Why is TSMC so powerful and how do they rule the world? The scarcity of chips has propelled TSMC from a largely anonymous service company to the center of a global battle over the future of technology. The company will play a disproportionate role in determining how the world will look at the end of this decade. Some predict the emergence of a dystopia fueled by a worsening climate crisis and rising geopolitical tensions. A more optimistic scenario is the widespread adoption of artificial intelligence, or AI, by 2030, which will aid in mitigating the effects of climate change through granular weather prediction, allowing for earlier cancer diagnosis and even combating fake news through automated fact-checking on social media. The success of TSMC in cornering this vital market has turned into a geostrategic headache. As a result, most countries are investing more in advanced chip manufacturing so that their missiles and fighter jets are not reliant on TSMC. So can any of TSMC's competitors catch up? TSMC is a pure foundry, which means it does not sell its chips and instead focuses on producing semiconductors for others. Its market dominance has been built on engineering excellence, with the ability to manufacture the low-power, high-performance chips that have been critical to the mobile revolution. As a result, TSMC has a strong market position, accounting for 53% of all global foundry revenue in quarter 2 of 2022 and its customers include Apple, Nvidia, and Qualcomm. TSMC is expected to launch its 3 nanometer process node this year, allowing it to pack more transistors into a single chip than ever before. And due to this, customers will be able to develop faster, more efficient devices. The only chip manufacturer in the world capable of providing comparable cutting-edge services is Samsung of South Korea, but they have less than half of TSMC's market share, with only 17.4%. TSMC, the world's largest contract chip manufacturer, has been riding the wave of the global chip shortage. 
with customers lining up to secure a piece of its in-demand chip foundry. And the company wants this to continue, so it used its investor call to outline plans for a $44 billion capital investment in Taiwan and elsewhere to ensure its market dominance continues. Such capital project resources dwarf the competitor semiconductor manufacturing space, making the company's position appear unattainable. However, TSMC must be wary of business and geopolitical factors to maintain its market dominance. So many questions remain unanswered, leaving world leaders to speculate. Only time will tell if TSMC will stay as the top chip manufacturer. What are your thoughts, and how do you feel about their control over tech? Let us know in the comment section down below, and drop a subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. This is Business Loop, have an amazing day.